it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another gardening project. So I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video on this, but I figured it would be interesting. So I'm back at mom's house and her big magnolia tree is coming down, which makes us a little sad. It's definitely a litter bug. It drops leaves like nobody's business. But as you can see, the power company came in, what mom, a couple years ago? several years ago and they just completely whoop toss all the branches on one side we thought they were just going to cut out a little in the middle for those power lines but they just gave it a straight chop which means that this now 80 year old plus tree is completely heavy on one side lopsided and we had it looked at they're pretty convinced that eventually maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but eventually it is going to come down Towards mom pops. So, as much as we hate to get rid of it, if it is a safety issue, if it's a safety issue, it's got to go. And since mom's just starting to work on this garden bed, we figure we might as well take it out now and be done with it. So, first of all, we're having this tree taken out. And then she's already purchased a loquat tree. We'll do a whole video on that to replace it. The loquat tree will give us some evergreen, but it will be a lot smaller than the magnolia. So hopefully it will never interfere with the power lines, but we'll still give us lots of shade over that part of the garden and house. So. I'm just going to go ahead and put y'all on time lapse and let you watch as they bring this tree down. Mom and I are not helping at all. This is not in our wheelhouse, but I thought it was interesting. So enjoy. Okay, they are finishing cutting this tree down. They have been working for a couple hours. Um, they cut me some uh, round uh, slabs from the stump, which is pretty cool. The things are huge. Like, here's my foot. And I wear a size 9. So these things are huge. Um, we've already taken most of the uh, tree branches and, and put them up. And uh, well, it's going to be a huge difference. So we have to move everything, all the bricks, all the, all the steps, everything, unfortunately. So, all right y'all the tree is gone so you can see they they put all the pavers back and the bricks back in kind of a general location it is not how we had them they're gonna have to all be fixed any flux that was trying to hold on and survive is no. is gone so we knew we need to move all the plants out of here so we did that in a video for you last week but we did not think we were gonna have to move I wasn't about all of this but it is what it is you said there was a hole in the yard where the tree hit So yeah, you can definitely see where it where it dips down right where the tree hit. And unfortunately, mom, mom filmed the best she could. 
but the phone kept getting too hot, so it did not film the tree falling. I know. So frustrating. But this is what we have left. So we've got the stump in here. It's a pretty big stump. I don't think we'll do it this year or maybe not just this month, but mom's thinking we might hollow it out and make it a little tree garden like I've been thinking about doing at my house. Of course, all the monkey grass is coming out of here. This azalea is down to the roots. <laughs> These azaleas have been here for a very long time. They are very well established. Yeah. So, I mean, they, they might come back next year. They might not. We'll probably just leave them and see. Um, and that azalea over there still looks decent. Not great, but decent. But anything else in here will probably come out. So we're, <laughs> yep. But that is, that is the tree gone. So we had taken out the rose, the vitex, and another rose over here, and the dogwood. So now we're going to, we're going to try to fix this so that we can replant those. Mom's just trying to decide if she wants to put them in the same place as we took them out or if she wants some of them more in here. And you have a loquat tree, a crepe myrtle, and a dogwood. We're obviously not gonna be planting them in the exact same place as the magnolia. Um, and she could have had the stump ground out for the ma magnolia, but when you do that, it really, it sinks for a long time, and we didn't want that. She she said she'd rather have a little tree stump garden instead of that. So let's go ahead and I guess start moving the pavers back, and then we'll move on from there. y'all so we are all done getting the path back together um and the tree is officially out so now we are going to start replanting things and rebuilding this bed we've still got monkey grass to take out we've got trees to plant we've got some of these bushes that were here before mom had to take out now we have to put those back but this has already been a pretty long video a little fun mom's still working on her camera skills Yes. Which way do we tell mom? Yes. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. I didn't know exactly what it would look like. I just thought taking out this big tree was interesting to me and it might be interesting to y'all. So if you want to see, now that we've destroyed this garden bed completely, um, <laughs> you want to see us rebuild it, stay tuned. We literally just started placing some of the plants and we are going to go ahead and start putting them in the ground. Once mom has them where she wants them, it might take a minute to figure that out. But I hope you guys liked this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.